Hello everyone, welcome to my book review. My name is Alondra Reyes and today we will be reviewing the book titled Loveless by Alice Osman. I chose this book because I've recently read a graphic novel series by Alice and I thought it would be fun to read some of her other books. Here is my table of contents. Loveless by Alice Osman. This book is a fiction novel. It is 393 pages long and was published in early 2022. Summary In the book Loveless, we meet 18-year-old Georgia War, who is in her final days of high school. She's a sweet, shy, and normal student, but she feels left out and as she goes on to college, she desperately tries to find romance and love. Her friends, Jason and Pip, are always with her and support her introverted character. In college, Georgia meets Rooney, who is the complete opposite, a fun, outgoing girl who is always going out with someone different every day. As time goes on, Georgia finds herself questioning her sexuality, hence the title Loveless, with Rooney by her side trying to give Georgia the teenager experience. This, gives, this gets Georgia into a big argument with friends, and her whole life seems to be over with. She wants to be like everyone else, enjoying their college life, finding love, going out, drinking and socializing that is until georgia is able to accept herself by slowly discovering who she is evaluation part one analyze plot one reason i absolutely love this book was because of the awesome plot this book is cute realistic and relatable to some extent it talks about real topics that people should be aware of like discovering yourself and your sexuality or finding love and friendships Throughout the story, there is a build-up to the main argument, and even though it is a slow burn, it was still exciting to see the story play out. There are no major plot twists in the story, which is a bummer for me, since that is what keeps my nose in a book, but that did not stop the story from being captivating. At the end of the book, it was a bit repetitive, at the beginning of the book, it was a bit repetitive, with the main character not really changing her mindset, and at some point it was frustrating, and even made the book a bit boring, but the pace soon picked up. The climax of the book is definitely what made the story better, and the resolution did make me tear up a bit as well. Overall, the plotline is definitely an emotional roller coaster, which sometimes put a smile on my face and other times made me want to cry. Evaluation Part 2 Characterization Another reason why I enjoyed this book was because of the fun characters. Every single person in this book played an important role with each different personalities that are diverse and fun to read about. For example, Georgia War is an 18-year-old freshman in college who is very much an introvert, trying to do her best to fit in with others. She later discovers she is Arrow Ace and it plays a huge role in the book. Another example of a cool character is Sunil. He is a third year in college and is part of minority groups which is discussed briefly in the book. The last example is Rooney, who is a very feisty but loving character. She is so energetic but sensitive. Throughout the book, she discovers her sexuality as well. All these characters represent real people and struggles. They are very much different and significant personalities stand out and make the book interesting. It personally made me happy to see Latino and queer representation in this cool book. Evaluation Part 3 Diction Lastly, I truly like this book because of the diction. This book is written in first person, George's point of view, which I think is nice but iffy at the same time. There were so many parts in the book where I wish I could have seen different people's perspectives at the same time so I can know what is going on through their minds. Other than that, I loved how realistic the author was with her choice of words. This book is rated 14 and up which in most cases would mean that many books would try to censor or imply certain words and actions, which is something this book did not do. I think this is important because it brings awareness to teens so that they won't be ashamed or afraid to say these things or mention certain acts, which is normal and natural in the real world. I love how open the characters are with their thoughts, and I love how the author decided to include text messages as well. 5 Star Review I give this book a 4.5 star review because it was a sublime book overall. It had such adorable characters, an entertaining plot, and satisfactory dictionary. Diction.
it would have been better with more plot twists or a faster plot with less repetitiveness in my opinion other than that it was a very endearing book and i can say that i loved it and would definitely read it again conclusion i would recommend this book to anyone who likes slower paced build-ups and stories this book is realistic with lgbtq plus and racially diverse characters it talks about growing up and making friends on your own and finding people while trying to find yourself it can be relatable to some extent i would give an explicit language warning but other than that it was such a lovely book and 100 percent worth my time thank you for watching and thank you for your attention. Bye!